Tom from Richmond has a question about building with concrete. Well, he's getting ready to build a, uh, a retirement home, and he okay. wants one that's going to last for his grandkids, I suppose. <laughs> hey, we still have the Coliseum. It's halfway standing. <laughs> so, okay. It's a lot of grandkids. That's true. <laughs> Anyway, Tom writes, I'm retiring to Canyon Lake, and other than cost, he wants to know, what are the pros and cons of 2 by 6 exterior walls or concrete brick for better insulation purposes? I've heard this not only helps with insulation, but but you do concrete walls, it helps keep bugs out, too. What do you say, Tom? The bug thing is ridiculous. You're going to have chicken bones in your sink, and bugs are going to find it. Uh, bugs will find find their way in no matter what, whether no matter what kind of wall you have. Chicken but, bones in the sink. <laughs> chicken bones okay, in the sink so does Tom, not help. So no voodoo in the kitchen, okay? <laughs> yes, okay? Okay, go ahead. Concrete block is a very poor insulator. Uh, so as far as insulation uh, values on concrete block, it's really hard to insulate. You have to insulate the entire outside of the wall. And so it probably is not, and it's very expensive, so it's not a choice for insulation or making any sense to build, especially in that part of the country. Two by six walls, you can have extra insulation. And in that part of Texas, when it gets really cold and, and you get those cold winters, uh, days or nights for that matter, it will help. Will it be a big energy saver year round on your electric build? No. Usually we get to two by six walls if we go over 10 foot walls because you can't do two by fours, they get too limber. So we have to beef it up for structure, not necessarily insulation. And the cost is not that big a deal when you go to two by six exterior walls. So if you want to do that, fine. Stay away from the concrete block unless there's a structural reason you're doing it, like big spans or something of this nature that you're having to do it because of uh, you're, you're trying to achieve a certain structural integrity. So that's my take on it. I think stick and brick is usually, or stick and stucco or stick and siding is the best way to build in Texas. It performs really well. It's affordable. And the insulation values of it will be exactly what you need. Anything else? I think you've covered it. Okay. And you can see him cover it more on all kinds of things. You got other questions? You'll find answers waiting for you under the Ask Tom sections. There's a lot more videos like this waiting for you at homeshowradio.com.